Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. And today's review is for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now then, it has been quite a couple of weeks for games releases. Some of the biggest hitters of the year have been released now. Um, and I've been really, really busy trying to play them all and get reviews out and stuff. And this game initially was a game I was going to leave until I got a PlayStation 5 um, because it, it's also a launch title on PlayStation 5 although uh, clearly it is available on PlayStation 4 as well so I thought well I'll wait and I'll experience this on PlayStation 5 however I still haven't managed to pre-order a PlayStation 5 there's no guarantees I'm going to get one for Christmas so uh, when this game was released uh, last week I saw all these gameplay videos and people's reviews and I was just like looking at it longingly and I thought oh go on then so um, I am I did end up getting the game uh, so, but I am a couple of days late in getting the games hence why the review is a little bit later than I would have liked however Spider-Man Miles Morales is once again um, an open world Spider-Man game from Insomniac I mean uh, Marvel Spider-Man that we got in 2018 uh, which I have reviewed on the channel was an outstanding game uh, it also made my recent top 10 list of my uh, favorite PlayStation 4 titles um, I just thought it was a brilliant brilliant um, open world game stroke superhero game and one of the best I've ever played easily so naturally I was excited for this now it was made fairly clear early on with this game that it was a um, not a what you would call a bloated game maybe or something it's it's more of a trimmed down focused uh, gameplay experience this um, and by that I mean it's not the same kind of length as the first Spider-Man game essentially what you're gonna get out of this game is depending on how you play it and how much of a completionist you are you are getting here with this game about 15 hours of content give or take an hour or two here or there um, which is fine I mean let's be honest there's so many huge games being released these days and especially in these last couple of weeks Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla uh, Planet Coaster in its own way is a game that's gonna suck many many hours of li uh, li uh, hours out of your life this sometimes uh, just a nice focused game that is not going to take you too long to complete a couple of days of you know a focused gameplay nothing wrong with that at all uh, there really isn't because you know how many of us genuinely hands up manage to complete the games that we buy um, there's just so many games now so many good games so many huge games it's it's quite difficult to fully complete a game but you're going to be able to do that with this game and very easy for me to say is that if you enjoyed Marvel Spider-Man the first one you're gonna love this one it is essentially a very very similar game to the first one um, it's the same old story if it ain't broke don't fix it and the first Spider-Man was brilliant all they've done here is shook up it shook it up a little bit um, yes there are I, even playing this on PlayStation 4 I think the visuals um, are better than the first one um, I think the gameplay is a little bit better than the first one the combat is a li everything is just a slight tweak on the first one and you can really feel it I mean with Miles um, because he's a rookie he's only really had his powers about a year um, he plays differently than the other Spider-Man he's a bit more uh, when he swings it's a bit more um, it's not as experienced if you like in regards to how he swings uh, it's a little bit more youthful or something like that same with the combat he's got slightly different powers than Peter Parker's Spider-Man he's got something called bioelectricity powers uh, essentially he calls them venom punches and things in the game so he can generate this electricity and there's another there's another power as well that I don't really want to talk about and spoil I want you to experience the game to experience everything the game has to offer in regards to the combat and the powers but it feels different enough compared to the first Spider-Man it doesn't my worry playing this game was that um, you were gonna miss Peter Parker 
and you wanted to be Peter Parker but they've made Miles so much fun to play as that you don't end up missing Peter Parker at all um, which I'm really really delighted to say and the story this time round is as I mentioned Miles Morales has had his powers for about a year uh, he's been learning off Peter Parker how to be Spider-Man uh, and then Peter has to leave for Europe for a couple of weeks with MJ which leaves Miles as the sole protector of New York City and guess what as soon as Pete is out of town uh, there is a new threat that rises in New York City that is uh, I, I don't really want to spoil it and say much more but there's a new threat that rises and it's up to Miles to deal with it and take it out um, as the first as similar to the first Spider-Man you've got two rolling storylines here you've got the spider-man storyline and then you've got the miles morales um storyline where you get to see him interact with his friends and family and all that kind of stuff and it really helps you um feel connected to the character so i really enjoyed the story here i think insomniac um they know what they're doing now uh, with this franchise um and they nailed it on the first one they've nailed it on this one as well um, even though it's a more focused game and there's not as much playtime as you would uh, that there was in the first Spider-Man, there's still quite a lot to do here in the city. Um, they've ch changed it up a little bit now. You've got like um, Spider-Man's, uh, sorry, Miles Morales' friend Genke has kind of is like this genius and he's designed like this app so that the people of New York City can get in touch with Spider-Man on this app and tell him where there's any problems or uh, crimes or side activities that kind of stuff so you can just swipe on your on your controller look at the app and see if there's anything you want to go and sort out there are still some random crimes on the streets and stuff but you can also go to these places on the apps um, to solve crimes and help the people of New York there's other activities to do in the city you can collect time capsules that you buried years ago uh, tech parts that you will use to upgrade uh, to, to buy new suits or upgrade your gadgets and things like that um, and also you get something called activity points for completing missions and side missions and street crimes and again they will help you upgrade your gadgets um, and also unlock new suits there are 19 suits in total I believe uh, some really really cool ones I'm not going to spoil it for you um, but there are some cool ones um, to find and unlock uh, very very good indeed and there's a skill tree as well it's a little smaller the skill tree obviously because it's a little bit of a more focused game um, but you can upgrade you know your uh, bioelectricity um, and other aspects of your powers and things like that on the skill tree what what I also like about this is, I mean, the difference between this and the last game is the last game, Peter was a veteran. He'd been Spider-Man for about eight years. He knew what he was doing. And he understood his powers inside out, basically. Whereas this time, um, playing as Miles, he's a rookie, essentially. So it's like a, a discovery story, uh, which is what some people might have wanted in the last Spider-Man game. Well, you get it in this one. You get it from Miles' perspective. He's just learning about his new powers as he goes... Um, he's got all this self-doubt, he's got all his um, personal problems and all this kind of stuff as well. It's just a really nicely pitched story here. So I think what they've delivered here in Somniac is, um, if you wanted to be really cynical, you could call it like a really good expansion of the first game. I don't think it is. I mean, the only negative I could give here is that, you know, it potentially a little bit overpriced I paid 49.99 for this in the UK I think a fair price for this would have been 39.99 for its length um, and some of the feedback that people have given saying it's it's more of a um, expansion than a standalone game it is a standalone game um, but if, if you're expecting the same length and experience that you could you got in the first game you might be a little bit disappointed but personally I'm not, I'm really enjoying an, um, the uh, more focused approach this time round and it's an excellent game and it's a game I'm also looking forward to replaying on the PlayStation 5 when I eventually get it when of course it gets its free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 so yes that is my review 
for Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's a very, very strong 9 out of 10, and I've really enjoyed the game. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon. Thank you.